Hey everybody, it's Ty Inspire and welcome back to the channel. I am so happy that you're here today and we are gonna take a quick break from our regular programming <laughs> because I wanna give you this important information. This one is gonna be for people of the diaspora that are actually moving to Ghana that are not Ghanaians, basically. You wanna, you wanna move here and you don't know the process to getting a residency. So I'm going to give you one of those processes. There are several ways that you can do it. This is one way that we're gonna talk about today and I think it's probably the best way, the easiest way, and the most affordable. So let's get into it, guys. Before we start, I want you to know that if you have not subscribed to my channel. I am expecting you to do that today, all right? So please hit the subscribe button. And those of you who are already subscribed, thank you, welcome back. And make sure that you hit the bell so that you are notified every time I post, okay? You don't wanna miss these videos. I've got some good stuff coming out, guys. Um, and yeah, it's gonna be some more videos coming real, real soon, because I have some some different things going on, so I'm excited to share. And I've got some new ideas for next year. So listen, you wanna hang around, trust me, you don't wanna miss this, okay? Let's get into the video. <laughs> oh, I believe I can be all I dream, the connection to destiny. All right, so today we are going to talk about getting a residence permit in Ghana, all right? Receiving your residency. And the way that you're going to do it is through a bond, right? So you're gonna do this through a bond, so let's be clear. So all of these things are true and good. I shouldn't say true and good, they are true for this time, at the time that I made this video, okay? I don't think this process changes much, so it should be pretty much the same if you are viewing this later on, like a long time after I have actually posted it. I do think that these processes or this process pretty much stays the same. So the first step, first step, number one, first thing you're gonna need to do is you need a Ghana card, okay? Let me tell you, right now, the Ghana card is a must. <laughs> no matter what you're doing, you need to go and get that Ghana card. Drop everything right now and get the Ghana card. You need the Ghana card now for banking. You need it to register your SIM and you're definitely gonna need it in order to go through this process, okay? Whether you are trying to get a residence permit and a work permit, you're gonna need the Ghana card. So whatever you're doing, you're gonna need it. So please go get the Ghana card first before you do anything else. It's a national ID card and it's important at the time. Take your passport with you when you go to get your Ghana card. You're gonna use that, that is your ID right now that you're gonna use in order to get this local ID. So take your passport with you. The cost for the Ghana card is $120, yes. So if you wanna pay in dollars, you can pay in dollars or you can pay in Ghana CDs. It is also an option at the location that I'm gonna to suggest to you that you can use Momo as well to pay. So um, that is an option here. I suggest you just go with your cash just to be on the safe side because when I went, you know, the Momo person, the person that handles that wasn't around. So, you know, just to be on the safe side, they're gonna always accept cash, so bring your cash. If for some reason you are renewing your Ghana card, so I just went through this process myself and I was just renewing my Ghana card because I already had one. The renewal fee is $60, all right? So you will need to bring $60 to renew. Okay, so the best place to go and get this done is going to be Cal Bank on Independence Avenue. It is very close to the headquarters, the immigration office headquarters, where you're going to be processing your paperwork. 
all right? They used to do it at the immigration office, and some of you may remember that, but they no longer do that. They have moved it to Cal Bank, which is right down the street, okay? So I'll hop on over down the street. I did not have to wait long. I got the card the same day, which you should. That should be pretty standard. Um, and it was easy and quick. So please try Cal Bank, get it done, and you shouldn't have any issues. So now what's next? Once you get your Ghana card, you are ready to go to step two. Step two is getting a letter of support from the Office of Diaspora Affairs at the Jubilee House. Okay. So you need to make an appointment for this letter or for this interview because what's going to happen is you're going to go in and they're going to interview you. They are recommending you to as a candidate for residency. So they want to know a little bit about you. It's nothing deep. So don't be worried. You know what I'm saying? They just want to kind of get an idea of who you are, where you came from, why you're here and why you want to be here. All right, so it should be a very quick interview and they will give you the letter on the spot. This process too is very easy. I think I heard about the process before as far as getting this letter and I was a little intimidated by it, but trust me, it's nothing to worry about. You will need to make an appointment though. So I'm gonna leave the number here and the name of the person that you need to contact you need that name because when you're signing in to get into the Jubilee House, every stopping point, security point, you're going to need to sign the book and you will need his name to, to sign it there. So that is important. He is the person that is handling this at the Diaspora Affairs Office. All right. You are finished with one and two steps, steps one and two. So um, also let me mention that the letter of support is free. You do not have to pay for it. No one should ask you for money for it. I definitely did not have that experience either. It was a really good experience. He was very accommodating. You should be fine, but no charge at all for that one. Step number three, <laughs> you wanna begin to gather your papers that you're gonna need to actually file, okay? So of course your Ghana card, make a copy of it. When you get it done, make a copy front and back. You're gonna need to take that and include that in your paperwork, along with your letter of, of support from the diaspora office. Next thing is you need a lease agreement. You need a lease agreement in your name, a land indenture in your name, or a letter from the person that you are living with. They need, to, they, will, they need to know like their relationship to you and that you're living there and maybe how long you've been living there, all right? Very simple letter if you wanna go that route. It doesn't have to be more than two or three sentences, just explaining who you are and then putting the address there. But those three things, you're gonna need to, to be able to prove where you are living. All right, so those are important and everything needs to be in your name. You know, if it's not, you're gonna have to do a letter to it and it can get complicated. So make sure you have one of those three things in your name. The next paper that you need to prepare is a copy of your bank statements. You need two months of bank statements. Now, because we are doing a bond, you are getting two Ghanaians to vouch for you, to say basically that they are financially responsible for you while you're here during this time, during this year of time. So one of those Ghanaians are going to need to bring their bank statements as well. So you need your bank statements, two months, and the Ghanaian, one of the Ghanaians need to bring their statements two months, okay? To my understanding, I don't think that there's anything listed saying how much money you need to have, you need to be making, what needs to be coming out and going in. I don't think that there's a standard. They just wanna look to see that there is money coming in and that you can have 
you know, that you can survive, you know, basic needs. And you know that the cost of living here in Ghana is pretty low. So I don't think that most people would have an issue with that. But just so you know, I don't think there's anything listed. Don't worry too much about that. Just make sure you have the two months and you do have some money coming in and out to show for that. Okay. Okay, moving along. You're going to need the two Ghanaian citizens. Okay, please make sure that these are people that you know. Okay, so I would not suggest and condone at all getting people that you don't know and asking them to do this for you. Please make sure there are people that you know. They will be interviewed. Okay, that is the process. They are going to be interviewed and asked some questions probably about you. I don't know what those questions are. Um, and I will put this disclaimer out here right now too, that everybody's process is different. So my process was one way, your process may be another way, but the basics should be the same, all right? There may be a little change here and there for you or for someone else, you know, that's just kind of how it's done, how it is. But for the most part, the process should be the same, all right? So get your two Ghanaian citizens, they are going to need their IDs. So either the Ghana card or a passport as an ID. Make a copy of that for both of them and have them ready to go with you when you, when you submit your paperwork because they're gonna need to be there to, make some, to sign some things and also to be interviewed, okay? All right, moving along, you're gonna include your diaspora letter. I did mention that already. And you need to prepare a request for residency letter. So this letter needs to be detailed, maybe about two to three paragraphs long. You need to tell a little bit of something about yourself, where you're from, why you are here, um, your education, your background, your career. Um, you need to talk about how you're going to support yourself. Um, you don't need to go in a whole lot of detail, but it needs to be brief enough, but long enough. So that's why I said maybe about two to three paragraphs long, um, giving them a good idea of who you are and what you're doing. Okay. All right. We're almost at the end. It's not bad. You need two passport size photos, okay? That's pretty self-explanatory. You need your passport, of course. <laughs> and your Ghanaians will also need a letter of support. So you can write this letter. It's a very simple letter, maybe two sentences, two or three sentences saying this is who they are and they support you and that's it and signing off on it. So. The letter of support is not a big deal, but you will need one for each of the Ghanaians that will be um, supporting you. Okay, you will need to take the COVID test. The COVID test is 200 Ghana CDs. You will do that at the immigration office when you go to process your paperwork, all right? So please don't go and do this in advance and bring it with you. I don't think that that's recommended. I'm not even sure they'll accept that. They have a process. Once you get there, they'll ask you to make the payment and then to go take the test right there on the spot. So please just wait until you process your paperwork. Just have your money available so that you can take the COVID test. And you will need to bring 300 Ghana CDs for the residency. That's it. That is the cost. There are no other costs, okay? There shouldn't be any other costs. Nobody else should ask you for money for anything else. It is 300 CDs, period. 200 CDs for the COVID test, period. That's it. Let me go ahead and list here again on the screen everything that you're gonna need to include in your packet that you're going to bring with you to the immigration office. Please go to the headquarters. That is where all of this takes place. And I think from my experience with dealing with them, they're pretty, it's like a well-oiled machine, honestly. 
you may have to wait a little while, but everything is pretty much as it should be. You know, you go in and there are plenty of people that can help you take care of what you need to take care of. All right, so you shouldn't have any issues at all. Prepare your papers and take them. Bring the two Ghanaians with you and you can do everything in that day. That's it, especially if you have all of these papers ready to go, everything is in order, you won't have any issues. Now, when you get there, they will give you, I think, two forms to fill out. One is an application, and then I can't remember exactly what the other form is, but any forms that you need to fill out, they will give them to you when you arrive. You let them know that you're here to apply for residency through bond, and they will know exactly what you need. So you'll, you will have to take a little bit of time to fill out the application and whatever other papers they want you to fill out. But other than that, you have everything else you need and they'll just start walking you through the process. And I think it needs to be signed off by like two people. So one person is the one that will do the interview with your Ghanaians and then the other end with you. And um, then I think one other person, then you'll make your payment They'll give you a slip telling you that, telling you when to come back and pick up your passport. If it's been approved, they're gonna, it's gonna say that on your paperwork at the moment, at that moment. And then they'll just, they'll tell you when to come back to pick up your passport. The process should take about two to three weeks. Um, if you go during the holiday season, like in the November, December, you're gonna wait a little longer than that because People have a lot of time off during that season and the offices actually are closed for a couple of weeks, I believe. So you're gonna wait a little longer if you go at the end of the year. But otherwise, it should take about two to three weeks. So that is your residency process. Really easy, I think that anybody can go and do it. Um, it may seem imitating, intimidating, I'm sorry, at first, but it really is not. So please guys, just go, take care of it yourself. You can do it, get your things in order and you're good to go. Another thing that I wanted to mention because I have found that a lot of people are unaware of this, okay? Especially if you are coming to Ghana for the first time and you're coming on a long-term basis. So you have received your visa, your tourist visa to get into the country. Most people get five years, okay? So you got your visa, you're ready to come. Once you get into the country, they are going to stamp your passport saying that you're here, okay? This stamp lasts for three months. That's it. When it expires, you are, ex you are expected to leave the country. Now, because you have your five-year visa, you can return anytime during that five years, but you are only allowed to be in the country for the amount of time that that stamp says, and it should be three months, okay? So make sure you pay attention to that. When you come, look at your stamp and go ahead, and some of you already know if you're travelers, some people do visa runs, or you'll go to the next country and then come back in so that your, your time can start over, or go and come, like go and come. Um, the other option is, this is the thing that I wanted to mention because I think a lot of people don't realize this, is that you can get your stamp extended. So from what I can remember, you're going to need to have, you don't need the Ghana card or anything like that. You just need a letter, I think, stating what you're doing and why you're doing it and that you're requesting two to three months additional you know, extension. So I think the standard is two months, but if you ask for three, they can give you three, okay? They can give you three. Um, so you can get two to three months extension on that stamp. So please don't be here overstaying for no reason. <laughs> Just go and get it extended. You know, if you notice about a week or two weeks before it actually ends, just go to the immigration headquarters and file to have an extension. And they will usually go ahead and grant that to you. I think you can get that extended up to two times. So just keep that in mind. If for some reason you just wanna stay a little while longer or you need to stay a little while longer before you go and come, 
you can do that. So I will suggest that. It, the cost for that is 50 CDs per month. So if you get it for two months, it'll be 100 CDs. If you get it for three months, it'll be 150 CDs. So it's pretty affordable. It's much better and much easier than overstaying and having to pay when you leave the airport. So get an extension if you need it, okay? All right, I think that is it. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. You can email me, you can comment here. Um, I'm willing to help with whatever I can. So please do that. And just remember, check the date on this video when it goes out so you'll know when you're watching the video and if the information is still up to date. I will try to keep the information up to date through either my community tab or on this video. So I might come in and just um, in the description box, I will put any updates that need to be made so that you are aware if things have changed or not. So, and of course, all of this information that I've shown you here on the screen too is available in the description box. So get it done y'all, get it done. <laughs> See you soon, bye. Now I believe